Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga kamathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nagsubscribe, ay magsubscribe ka na. At hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon tungkol sa deductive reasoning. What you will learn today, illustrate deductive reasoning and apply deductive reasoning in solving problems. So let's start! Deductive reasoning. So, what is a deductive reasoning? It is the process of showing that certain statements follow logically from agreed upon assumption and proven facts. You must be able to justify any statements that you make. You try to reason in any orderly way to convince your, yourself or someone else that your conclusion is valid. Again, para ma-convince mo yung sarili mo or yung iba na ang iyong conclusion ay valid, kailangan ay step-by-step -step process or in order yung iyong ginawang reason. So this is what trial lawyers do in court. They use deductive arguments to show how the evidence they present proves their case. Kaya naman, itong deductive reasoning ay isa sa mga important skills in mathematics. So, kailangan ay marunong tayo mag-reason out, pero this time, kailangan ay in an orderly or logical way. So, let's have an example. Faith and Lucas are trying to figure out how they did in the science quiz. Sabi ni Lucas, I have passed all four previous quizzes so, for sure, I also passed this one. Besides, James passed the quiz and I always get a higher score than James. So, yung kanyang naging basis dito, yung kanyang four previous quizzes na pasado siya. So, niklaim niya na sa kanyang panglimang quiz ay makakapasa din siya. And beside daw, nakapasa daw si James sa quiz... Pero lagi daw siyang mas mataas dito, kaya naman sinabi niya na siya ay makakapasa. Si Faith naman, I was able to answer all 10 items so I have a chance of getting a perfect score. So gumamit naman siya ng probability na sinabi niya na meron daw siyang chance ha, na maka-perfect score kasi nga 10 items din nasagutan niyang lahat. I am sure of 8 out of the 10 items, I checked them in the book already. So, kalimitang ginagawa ng student after the quiz or test ay chinecheck yung kung tama yung sagot nila sa book or sa kanilang notebook. At napatunayan niya na 8 daw doon sa kanyang sagot ay tama. So, the passing mark is 5. For sure, I pass the quiz. So, yun naman yung naging basis or basihan ni Faith para masabi niya na siya ay papasa sa science quiz. Okay, so let's have the questioning. Who is using inductive reasoning? How about deductive reasoning? Answer, Lucas uses inductive while well, Faith uses deductive reasoning. So, paano natin nasabi? Kasi si Lucas ay kumamit lang ng observation or his answer is based from the observation while Faith naman ay meron siya mga proven facts. Kaya naman, that is deductive. Who is more convincing, Lucas or Faith? Of course, Faith is more convincing than Lucas. So ngayon naman, we have application of deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is used in algebra when we give reason for each step in the process of solving equations. Example 2. Solve the equation for x, give a reason for each step in the process. For us to be able to solve the given equation, gagamit daw tayo ng deductive reasoning, kailangan daw ay step-by-step -step process. So we have here the given equation, 4 times the quantity 3x minus 8 plus 5 equals to x minus 5. So how are we going to solve the given equation to find the value of x? So we have the solution, step 1. Apply the distributive property. Since meron tayo ditong parentheses, we need to distribute by multiplying. That is, 4 times 3x is 12x, 4 times negative 8 is negative 32, 
plus 5 equals to x minus 5. Second step, combine like terms. So, ano ba yung pwede natin ditong i-combine? Yung constant. So, negative 32 plus 5 is negative 27. Again, for our step to combine like terms, negative 32 plus 5 is negative 27. Step 3, apply addition or subtraction property of equality. That is, we need to get the additive inverse of x. From right side, ililipat sa left side. So, from x, magiging negative x. And then, negative 5 plus 27. We need also to get the additive inverse of negative 27. From negative 27, magiging positive 27. And then, after that, we need to uh, simplify. So, 12x minus x is 11x. Negative 5 plus 27 or 27 minus 5 is 22. And then, last step, apply multiplication or division property of equality. So, we need to divide both sides by 11. So, x equals to 2. So, 22 divides 11 is 2. So, that's how we solve the equation using deductive reasoning by following step-by-step step process. So, let's have example 3. Suppose that the given statement is true. Use deductive reasoning to give another statement that must also be true. For example, yung ating first statement, all snakes are called blooded. And then, that is a true statement. Cobra is a snake. Another truth statement. So, gagawa daw tayo ng another statement that must be also true. Using deductive reasoning. So, therefore, our answer is... Cobra is called blooded. So, let's have example 4. In this example, we will use inductive reasoning to make a conjecture and deductive reasoning to show why it works. So in each figure, the diagonals of the polygon are drawn from one vertex. Determine how many diagonals can be drawn from one vertex in an n-sided polygon. State a conjecture. Justify your answer with a deductive argument. Again, in each figure, the diagonals of the polygon are drawn from one vertex. Determine how many diagonals can be drawn from one vertex in an n-sided polygon. State a conjecture. Justify your answer with a deductive argument. For example, we have here a triangle. Pinapakita na no diagonal. And then, we have a quadrilateral which is rectangle, one diagonal. We have a regular pentagon, two diagonals. And we have a regular hexagon, three diagonals. Okay, so we can make a table para makapag-formulate tayo ng conjecture. So, we have here the number of sides and the number of diagonals. For a three-sided polygon, which is triangle, so there is no diagonal. Kapag naman quadrilateral, or which is rectangle ang ating example, four-sided polygon, one diagonal. Kapag naman pentagon, five-sided, two diagonals. Hexagon, six-sided, three diagonals. And for n, n minus three. So our conjecture, in an n-sided polygon, n minus three diagonals can be drawn from one vertex. So paano natin nasabi na n minus three diagonals can be drawn from one vertex? So gagamit tayo ng mga deductive argu arguments to support our conjecture. At kailangan natin mapatunayan na that is true statement. Okay, so let's have the deductive argument. So let's start our claim with the definition. According to the definition, a diagonal of a polygon is a line segment whose endpoints are any non-consecutive vertices of the polygon. Again, a diagonal of a polygon is a line segment whose endpoints are any non-consecutive vertices of the polygon. So let's start with a triangle. Any pair of vertices are consecutive, hence no diagonal can be formed. 
sa triangle yon Kaya naman wala tayo itong diagonal na madudrawing. Kapag naman quadrilateral o yung mga four-sided polygon, only one vertex is non-consecutive from any given vertex. Hence, only one diagonal can be formed. Sa pentagon naman, two vertices are non-consecutive from any given vertex, hence two diagonals can be formed. Para mas maunawaan yung ating deductive argument, so gagamit tayo dito ng illustrative example. So, eto yung sinasabi nating vertex, yung A. So, therefore, dito daw yung ating starting point sa pagdodrawing ng diagonal. So, kailangan one vertex na yung gagamitin natin. So, sinabi dito, yung B and E daw are consecutive to A. So, except, malapit daw si E or kasunod ni uh, vertex E at vertex B si A. So, therefore, hindi tayo doon makakapag-drawing ng diagonals. So, saan lang tayo makakapag-drawing ng diagonals? Sa point D at sa point C. So, we can connect A to D and A to C because they are non-consecutive to A. Except, hindi sila katabi nung vertex A, C, D, at C. So, therefore, pentagon A, B, C, D, E has two diagonals. Kaya naman, kung gagamitin natin yung N minus 3, that is 5 minus 3 equals 2 diagonals and that is proven true or correct. So, thus, there are N minus 3 diagonals that can be drawn from one vertex of an N-sided polygon. So, I hope that you learned something about deductive reasoning. So, those, those are some of the problems na pwede natin i-apply yung deductive reasoning. And then, for now, you need to answer our activity for today. So, we, uh, I prepared three sets of activities. So, pwede nyo munang i-post yung video, kopyahin, and then later on, i-reveal natin yung answer sa video. Okay, enjoy answering your activity.
So that's it for our video today. I hope that you learned something. Don't forget to like and share with your friends and classmates. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video. God bless us all.